Right then, good afternoon, my lawn lovers. Yes, 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 start of the week, Monday. I'll spin this round for you in a second on a particular customer's lawn that really, really do go full whack on all the treatments, really appreciate and see the benefits of having somebody like myself on their lawn. However, even though we're closing in on the end of April, this is actually my first visit of the year. I'll spin it around for you, but um, the my customers wanted their hedges redoing and they just kept on repeatedly being let down by individuals, other companies, etc., etc. And when you see the level of work or when I show you at least the area, you know, it is pretty substantial. And with that in mind, they didn't really want me on the lawn up until now. It just so happens that at the end of May, they've got a lot of family round for a big party at their house. So I am completely up against it. So I've followed my customer's requirements today and we've given, I've scarified the lawn. I haven't filmed that, I haven't filmed it because you've seen an awful lot of me doing that recently um, but I'm following out their instructions and we've just given the lawn a light to medium scarification literally just whipping off the top but when you see what has come off certainly a good result so all this area here has all completely changed all that was initially quite mature hedging and just through what I call you know, skimming off the top, you know, we've got all of this. So, I mean, the customer and I were, you know, proposing to go much heavier with the scarifying machine. But again, there's a lot of family coming around very soon. So we're just gonna try and really, really get this up to speed in order for that party at the end of May. Okay. So just an update on this piece of lawn. It was heavily scarified, certainly quite a few runs. Around three weeks ago now and overseeded. So yeah, it was pretty much reduced to soil. So the progress, like I say, considering we're only you know, three weeks in, it's definitely doing what it needs to be doing. There's new grass coming through, but you know, there's clearly areas that are slower to respond, which is always the case. But nonetheless, really pleased with this, but I'll come back onto this lawn in another three or four weeks and I'll be expecting even further improvements. So just an update really on a lawn that I heavily scarified and overseeded some weeks now ago. <laughs> I, I think, you know, we must be uh, around, I would have thought, possibly eight weeks ago. back here to put down some fertilizer spring fertilizer but so far you know there are some areas that I still need to focus in on but considering this was scarified down to soil really 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 pleased with this one good morning my lawn lovers rock on rich lawns right then on a more serious note lawn pests what's going on what's happening how do we deal with them Two types of lawn pests here in the UK, the chafer bug and the leather jacket can be really problematic on your lawn. In certain cases, they can be there and actually cause minimal amount of destruction. But in most cases, that's not the case. So we've got the chafer bug and we've got the leather jacket. Both live under the surface of your lawn they both enjoy nothing more than munching out on the roots of your grass 
uh, with that in mind, the fact that they're eating the roots of the grass, the grass will deteriorate very quickly. There are no roots because they've been eaten. Particularly with the leather jacket, you can really start to see a rapid deterioration in the sense that the grass just completely goes down to nothing but soil. So keep a close eye on your lawn. You know, if there are signs of the lawn starting to disappear and they're being reduced to soil, equally, both of them become a very attractive meal to other predators, whether it be birds or, you know, it could be a hedgehog, squirrels, foxes or something ripping up your lawn. Keep an eye on that. There is, in my opinion, only one product that's really, really effective in dealing with this. It's a biologically produced product. It has live nematodes in it. I'm using a product today called uh, Nemesis J. This particular lawn that I'm on does seem to be quite problematic every year with uh, leather jackets. Uh, that is the product there that I am using today. probably wouldn't believe this but I've heavily scarified this lawn twice I've gone over it with the lawnmower and you know the level of stuff that's coming off the lawn is quite frankly you know just off the scale there's just bags of it So heavily scarified twice, I mean it's just everywhere, so let's get this rakes up and bagged up. Whew. Now they're my lawn lovers. I am, I am literally cream crackered. I got on this lawn this morning around half past nine, it is now close to about half four. You know everything has just happened on this lawn, it's been given an absolute spring facelift heavily scarified on its lowest setting multiple cuts of the lawn with my lawnmower scarified again so just followed the same methods as what you've been seeing me do all this year really have spoken to the customer they're gonna get out here and give this lawn a good soaking so that's it. Now then, my lawn lovers, press up there for last week's episodes, press up there for this week's episode, and yes, 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 that button in there. Press that button in there to subscribe to my channel.